Well, it finally made it to our home. This 1978 GMC truck that we named Shannon, it's home. A GM, Tim, I, I guess you heard me say in yesterday's video that he was going to bring it by on a trailer. And uh, he was playing around with me and had called me on the phone and was just talking, you know, stuff that we always talk about. And uh, I didn't think nothing about it. And my wife was in the living room and she seen somebody pulling a square body on a trailer. And she thought it was a uh, old dookie because <laughs> of the same colors. But uh, she didn't realize that Brian had it on a trailer. So she opened up the front door and screamed. And I was in the kitchen and uh, uh, talking to Brian and uh, on the phone. And she screamed. And I thought somebody's trying to bust in the <laughs> trying to bust into the house or something. I don't know. She screamed bloody murder and scared me to death. So I went running out here and. Was I surprised to see Shannon sitting out here? Of course, he's on a trailer, but helped get it off. But I'm really happy to get this thing home. Uh, it's a '78 GMC, and uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of good parts on this truck that I really like. But at the same time, there's a lot to be done. I'm gonna sometime. This is the plan that we have so far between my wife and I and, and Brian. Brian is GM1038. If you can, check him out on YouTube, GM1038. And boy, you talk about a friend. Him and Danny are real good guys. Danny helps Brian a lot of times on on vehicles and whatnot, just whatever. So he's pretty handy to have around. Uh, I've got to get new rockers and put in it. I already have them. Uh, I have, uh, you know, aftermarket new fenders, so I don't know how in-depth some of this stuff is going to be. It's a typical, typical places on a C10 truck. Of course, it's got a little here, and I don't know that I might be better off just putting aftermarket on, but I mean, it, it might not bolt up very well. I don't know. Uh, I think I've got some cab corners too. I don't know if it needs them. But like I said, it's got some issues, but it'd been, once again, the same old story I normally tell about an old truck, same as same as old Papa here. It's been sitting for a long time. So uh, in yesterday's video, I think I've, uh, you've seen uh, smoke coming out and stuff, and he had weed eater gas in it, just trying to, get it to start because he didn't have any gasoline i'm going to see if i can find the key the truck came with bucket seats and console but shannon the guy that used to own it took it out this thing used to have a step side bed and he didn't like the step side bed so he swapped it with another guy that he happened to know and the guy wanted the step side bed and he wanted the fleet side bed so that's why it's got a fleet side bed on it and now I, I, I still need this. These are not the original seats to the truck. They're, they're the correct ones to high back, but they're not the correct seats for the truck. And they're almost the right color. But I still need this. If you know somebody's got one that says GMC instead of the Chevrolet bow tie. It's got a fire extinguisher too. I've got to put the tag on it. And uh, anyway, I... What I do? Oh, I put the key. I've only got one key, so I got to be careful. But Brian is a—he is a professional at working on carburetors. There ain't no smoke. I guess he had to stop. He said he he run the truck plumb out of gas and had to stop on it when it was on the trailer and put gas in it. So. uh There's a lot to do on this old truck, but then again, I think we can handle it. My wife and I, I mean, this is PIB. There's a lot of missing parts I've got to get for this old truck, and I, we got a lot of cleaning up to do. And uh, this carpet, my wife is wanting me to... We're going to clean this truck up, first of all. 
and we'll see what we have then. I always like to see everything cleaned up to see exactly what I have and what I don't have. These seats, I have to stay like this for a while. I can't afford to get them reupholstered for now. But uh, Brian said all the gauges work. And Oh, I was, I, I was wanting to check this. Huh, I don't know if this radio works or not. I don't know. Might not have no speakers in it. I just don't know. Anyway, I'll turn that off. I'm not sure how good the battery is on it. Well, no, it's a pretty new battery. But uh, Brian said he's put all new brakes on it. And uh, if I didn't mention this before, in case you just stumbled across my video, these mirrors are NOS. The guy, Shannon, that originally owned the truck, he started purchasing parts. He was a smart guy. He started purchasing square body parts back in the late 80s and early 90s. This is new old stock. Of course, it's been sitting outside, but a lot of parts on this truck are NOS parts. And uh, if you look on GM Tim 38's uh, YouTube channel, you'll see a bunch of parts that Brian bought from uh, Shannon that he had for sale. I mean, there's a whole floor full in his garage full of NOS parts. And uh, I did not realize how much parts like that go for. It's all new to me. But uh, I've got to change this out and put a GMC on it. Uh, Shannon, once again, the guy that used to own this truck, he's a real good guy. I like him a lot. But uh, he was wanting, I reckon he didn't like the way GMC emblems were, so he was slowly but surely changing it into a Chevrolet. Nothing wrong with that, especially if it's your truck. But I'm going to try to put it back GMC like it was born. Need new rockers there. Got a few little rust holes here. Another NOS mirror. Uh, typical C10 square body stuff. That's what I was saying about Papaw. Papaw is really, for they're both the same year truck, but oh my goodness, that truck's in really, really good shape. It's funny how that works out, isn't it? And this truck uh, was originally copper colored not not brown it was copper colored now i'll try to show you there it's originally copper colored at this point the way paint is how hard paint is to get around here i don't know i don't know if i should stick with brown or if i should try to paint it copper colored i'm not sure about this grill i don't know if i can get my gmc grill to work in this I haven't really studied to see how they got it fastened on there. And uh, I'm not sure about this hood. It's a steel hood, cow hood. My, my wife kind of likes it. And I was going to put it on Billy James, but the, the my other 78 C10 truck, that's at Charlie's. But uh, I, the hood on, on Billy James just matches that truck so well, I hate to even mess with it. I think I might have I might have one more hood. It's it's hard to come up with good hoods, but uh I, I'm sure something will come up if I just be patient. That's what uh I said in one of I think the video I was talking about where I was putting a grill in Papa there. I, the Lord's trying to get me to learn patience. Cause I've always been very, very impatient. But uh I'm real excited to get this thing home. That's an NOS rear bumper too. But something has dinged it right here. And I'm going to get a hammer. When I feel like I got my mojo. I want to see if I can hammer that back down kind of decent. Hopefully. So, uh, I'm real happy with the truck. It, it'd, be, it'd be fun just to have something to play with. Got the cargo light. There's a lot of good things on this truck that I really do like. Oh, Brian, 
GM1038, he said he watched the video where I had the parking lights on. <laughs> that is cool, isn't it? When it's dusky dark, just to have the parking lights on. I used to do that all the time. I guess I was imitating back in the day when car companies would, you know, put their cars or muscle cars or Cadillacs or whatever out there and just kind of cut the wheels just a little bit and have the parking lots on and say, you know, like, wouldn't you really, wouldn't you really rather have a Buick or, or, you know, something like that? You know, I just, I just thought it was really cool to have the parking lots on. I used to just stand outside with my mom and dad's old cars. Well, they were kind of new back then. They're very old now. And just turn the parking lights on and look at them. Of course, if you've watched my channel any length of time, you know I'm a little bit of a nut, so. But it don't cost anything really, does it? I better turn this off. But Mrs. P.I.B. and I are pretty excited to get this old truck. And boy, these tires are really dry rotted bad. He had one of them blow out just sitting in just sitting in his driveway, and that's the reason he hauled it over here. These tires, these tires are the original ones that was on it, I think, and they're pretty dry rotted. He, it's Brian will drive anything, but if he's scared to drive this one and the tires must be really bad he said he was just sitting in the driveway and it just popped so oh what i was going to tell you was i might have already told you if i have please forgive me i'm just excited i get excited when i get a c10 oh my goodness last night i dreamt about this truck and i worked all night long and woke up just give out working on this truck and the truck wasn't even here but that's what kind of nut I am. But what I was going to tell you is uh, I, I, my friend, Ronnie Tyler in Madisonville, I'm going to get a set of 20s on here, 20 by 10s, 20 by 8s. And it, it'll be new wheels, new lug nuts, new tires. And uh, I'm going to lower the truck down and give it a little bit of a rake. So it should look, to me, it, even just like that, it looked, pretty mean so i kind of like that look and i know a lot of people like truck rallies hey i do too but uh you know uh, these tires when you order 15 inch tires that my wife and i's checked and you're talking 600 dollars maybe so sometimes they were seven and eight hundred dollars and uh i asked them i said is there any kind of sale going on they said nope so I don't know what's going on with that, but 15 inch tires are pretty expensive. Everything is expensive. So I'm just gonna get them 20s because that's what I like anyway. I'd like to get me a new bumper sometime. When that'll be way down the road. But anyway, uh, I, I just want to tell you I'm really happy to get this thing home. See that uh, copper colored? I bet that'd be pretty if it's cleaned up. It shines a little bit. I don't know why somebody painted it brown, but that's I don't know. That's just that's the way love goes, isn't it? It might be some copper colored right here. I don't know what color to paint this. Brown or I you know, I better just see if there's even any paint, hadn't I? That might be the smart thing to do. Before I start running off at the mouth about uh, painting this and painting that because I, ca I can't find paint. I, was, I barely had enough to do this truck, that uh, Papa truck. So, I mean, I just barely. It's close. So, and I used every paint can I could find. But now this one, I don't know. I need, I need trim. There's a whole bunch of stuff to do. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, you're watching Primer This Best if you like this kind of stuff. Uh, I called my friend Ronnie today that's got the uh, got the wheels from I actually called him last week he's out of wheels and he said it'd be a week or two before he gets some in so I'm gonna guess I'll keep calling every now and again to see if he's got some in because 
Uh, I told Brian I'm just going to keep it here in the driveway or put it in the backyard or whatever. That's where I'm fixing to put it now, in the backyard. Just, But uh, I'll play with it here in the next, maybe tomorrow. Depends on what what all we got going on. We got a few things going on, but if I can get back in time, oh boy. That's one of my favorite. Everybody, all my friends, even Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop, they always say, oh boy, because I am i didn't realize I said that so much. Oh boy. But there's worse things that can be said, isn't there? Anyway, just going to let you know I got the 78 GMC truck home, Shannon. I need to get all my keys that I... I don't have a door lock key, so I've, I'm either going to have to hopefully get one of my keys that might actually work this lock, which I've never had any luck doing that, or order some new locks, but I'm just glad it's home. I'm going to get some more ignition keys made tomorrow and uh, take some stuff back to the auto parts store that I didn't need, and it'll be fun cleaning this up. I, I don't know if the carpet's good. My wife said, my wife said, why don't we paint the carpet? I've never painted carpet, but I have some friends that have painted carpet. That might be a learning curve for me. Painting carpet. I don't know how that's going to turn out. And that's just, my wife and I talk about a lot of things, and sometimes we don't follow through. We come to our senses. <laughs> yeah, we come to our senses. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching the video. I know a lot of people's asked about <coughs> Shannon and left turn Bill and Billy James and all that and uh, I knew see this was all a surprise to me I did not realize he was bringing this today so it's just a big old surprise and I'm tickled to death to have it be something good to play with I'll probably watch this video see how many mistakes I made uh, as I was talking and uh, <laughs> just see what it looks like oh uh, let me know what you think about this uh, air deflector, air dam, whatever you think. Give me your comments on that. I'm not sure. I don't. I'm. I'm not sure about it. But it's something to think about. I have a lot of things to think about. It'll be hard for me to sleep tonight because I get excited. But hey, y'all have a good day. Once again, you're watching Prime at his best. I have a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget, and I'm on Instagram Prime at his best. Instagram Man on a Budget one. And I'm on Facebook, Primer is Best. I hope y'all's having a wonderful day. The Lord's watching over us all, isn't he? And he sure has been treating me good, I, I must say. Got good friends. I've got y'all that's listening to me, so thank you. And if you would subscribe and leave a comment and let me know what you think about this. And I, I've never had a truck, a couple of things. I've never had a square body with a cow hood, so I don't know about it. I've never had one of the grill like that. I've never had one factory with bucket seats. It already had the holes and everything. That everything. I don't know why he took them out, but like I said, it wasn't my truck, so I didn't even know him when he had it. So uh, Shannon, I mean, but he's a good guy, and, and I think the world of him. You know, everybody's like on this old truck. Everybody has a difference of opinion, different tastes of what their car or truck should look like, and. I admire somebody for even fooling with it just to make it, put their signature on it and it, let it be theirs. So, okay, we got a lot to do and I have to have a lot of help from y'all on suggestions. So, hang in there with me. Please like and subscribe and tell your friends. I appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful evening, day, whatever time you're watching this. God bless y'all. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see y'all later.